Guys, it's been really exhausting. <laughs> Hey guys, today is another weekend and I've got so much to do in the studio. This is the reality of how it goes down, okay? This is the stuff that I'm taking. Then I want to do a reel with, um, I think by the time this is up, that campaign will be up. So for FNF, we're doing a denim campaign. So I want to do like some reels and stuff. So I've got loads of clothes that I've packed. Where's all the clothes? Where do we pack all the clothes? Where the hell? And oh my God, when I come back, it's going to be nonstop work for me in the house because I've got new mattresses that arrived for the kids. One, two, three, four. Yeah, basically I need to do all that when I get back. And I'm going to be back very, very late today. So yeah, it's not going to be no cooking day. It's going to be a takeout day. Okay. By the way guys, look at what I did to my crate. In this crate I received some hot chocolate um, goodies for Christmas and then I drilled it up into the wall and I put some plants there, but perfume there. Oh! You, uh -huh. you drilled it? Yeah! You drilled it? You! Yeah! I fixed it, you got it wrong, you measured it correctly. Okay guys, it was all of us. <laughs> it was Mohammed. It was Today's a denim day, guys couple sizes of each some of them only have one size some t-shirts quick setup this is you guys i mean this is you guys but that is you guys too just some lovely little accessories going for a, a vibe today you guys aren't ready for this vibe Ooh, let me just cut them. guys aren't ready for this vibe shoes clothes new mic setup for some audio stuff don't forget to please and thank you. <laughs> Hungry, I'm starving. Waiting for a chai wala to arrive. Chai wala to Wow, that yeah, was, that was so terrible. I'm so glad. Just having a couple sound issues, guys. We're just going to try and sort that out before we start filming. Lint roller. This is essential, guys. Essential. We be happy. You're so late. <laughs> Starting? I just had a really nice lunch. Chai while I came in clutch. Tagging Dundun's on her post. She smashed her first collaboration. Insane. If you guys are not following Dundun's, please follow Dundun's. She is at life with Dundun's on Instagram. Insert here. Follow. <laughs> Basically, Zara pre prepares all of her content for me, so I literally just have to go by my schedule and just. Shout out to Zara. Shout out. Basically, guys, the vlogging camera battery died, so we just spent this entire time um, charging it. But she's done. Wow, this is, feels like an actual shoot. No, this style this shit up for you. Like. I did it. <laughs> look, guys, look, she's so happy. Look, I set up her shoes. These are all of her jackets. This is all of her accessories. Um, oh my god. And then we've got all of this and then a wild oh, wow. chias appears. I think but it gets work this. done a lot more faster, you know, to be fair. Yeah, because I make you efficient, all right? Yeah, this is how we power through our days, guys. In the bin. Mohammed, you need to take the bin out. <laughs> more Red Bulls by setting up lights. We have some mad stuff coming. Sneak peek. This is a nice fit offer. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, it's been really exhausting. Guys, it's been really exhausting. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> Guys, it's been really exhausting. I'm so tired. Red Bull? Yeah, we promote you. <laughs> Pay up. <laughs> On a reel, we're doing okay for time. I've actually just called the kids to see if they wanted dinner. So I could send it to their nanny. But um, they... They want to wait for me to come home and I'm going to be done in a bit, so woohoo, I'm going to eat with the kids. Hey, excited! Hey guys, this is so exhausting. <laughs> what did you say earlier? No, seriously, I'm, I'm so, so tired. I'm so tired. That was my life. <sighs> what a day. But um, we still finished quite early. We finished for about, um, what's the time now? Nine something? Nine o'clock? So we 10 o'clock, okay. We've done well because usually we finish at like 11, sometimes midnight. And I've still got to go home. The grand don't stop. Yeah, it really doesn't. I've got loads of editing to do as well. And then speak to my manager when I get up. No, I can't. I can't. She won't even answer, man. I'm just going to leave her some messages. Not even going to lie. The game has changed 
since we turned this area into a photo shoot area like by just came in my life and we are such a tag team it's just working out brilliantly and I love it because we get work done so much more faster and that way I can still go and be mom a lot more faster to my kids it's crazy people think that blogging is so easy and I always say to myself in my head I never say it like online but I'm gonna say it online now I'd like to see them try it's actually very very time-consuming and I've said this before I think in one of my posts that at least with like a nine to five job a nine to six job some people can actually switch off from their job come home and leave your work worries at the doorstep rather than bring them in um, but with mine because it's an online thing like you know if you're um, Let's just take like a doctor for example. If you're a doctor, you can leave your patient's issues at the surgery. You don't need to bring them home. But with me, um, I'm constantly having to do things online and check stats and analytics and stuff. What? Oh, see, I can't even vlog for you guys because we have to do a lighting check. Okay, let's go, bye. Hey guys, it is, what is the time right now? is 11 52 10 pm we have just finished and we are on our way home um Bai's already gone to the kids to take over from the nanny i'm actually so glad that i'm vlogging this so that you guys can see the hours that we put into digital content creation and it's tiring and it's hard especially as like mommy bloggers and i know some people have the audacity to say like well no one told you to be a blogger why don't you sit at home well it's still a job you know you could say the same to a nurse you could say the same to a doctor you could say the same to a solicitor at the end of the day a hustle is a hustle and that is my career maybe people don't see it as a uh, job what's that word job role no not job role um, occupation maybe people don't see influencing as a occupation but I tell you people who are serious about blogging see this as an occupation this is my occupation this is what puts bread and butter on my table and makes me work and i think i'm just really tired and angry and yeah it's been a long day and i really wanted to share this insight with you that what you guys see that goes out onto social media instagram youtube an eight minute video a one minute video takes a lot of preparation and um a lot of time you know what it is, Ahmad? People yeah. forget that you don't just shoot your videos, you edit your videos yourself. That takes meticulous time, especially when yeah. you're a perfectionist. Yeah. And then there's thumbnails, and then there's the like the contracts that you get, and those contracts obviously has have briefs and fulfillment. If you get that fulfillment incorrect, you have to redo it. That's another shoot day. Thank you. This is the best of PA yeah, number two. Thanks. You're a mom of five. <laughs> you know, yeah, that too. You're a mom of five, like a single mom of five, still trying to yeah. like. Yeah, and make it make it for your kids and stuff like that. Like it's not easy. And I still deal with the same issues as every other parent out there. Sibling rivalry. Oh my God! Yes, it continues in my home. Laundry, cooking, ironing, everything. And you know, sometimes it's frustrating. I hate ironing. It's a pet peeve. It's always going to be frustrating. But I deal with everything else in the house and all the longer hours. And I love it. And I still love working with a passion. You know, I've never enjoyed. A job so much but um, it's nice for you guys to I get get an insight of like yeah what happens and how long we work and maybe not everyone's like me maybe other bloggers take it easy but this is really serious for me because I try and tap into everything that is going on in the world and try and be aware of how much I can involve myself in. Oh my God, we needed to get milk and I forgot to get milk. Always be honest, keeping it muddy.